All right, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, today, I talk about mind, brain, and body connection and why it's important to know about it. Uh, probably you've heard about positive thinking and positive influencing and this, the, the power of the mind in our life, in any aspect of our life. Uh, so I was in neuroscience uh, at that time, like a century ago, <laughs> couple, <laughs> like two decades ago. At that time I was in medical school and, and uh, I ended up in neuroscience. I love neuroscience. And have you seen the movie, The uh, Neurosurgeon and Rocket Scientist? Nobody? No. Um, yeah, Google it on YouTube. You, you can see it. <laughs> you know both of them, like uh, neurosurgeon and uh, rocket scientist, they are very arrogant, left brain people. <laughs> and I was like that. And I, I was very left brain. And uh, one day, one of my patients asked me, Doc, uh, do you think there is any difference between mind and brain? I said, yeah. And I thought I knew everything because I was working on brain and that was like my beginning of the career at that time in neurosurgery. And I said, yeah. And he said, okay, what is it? I said, well, brain is in our skull and brain is ordering our body and receiving the data from outside world and from inside and giving the impulses to our body to move and act. And he's like, okay, and how about mind? And I'm like, Mm. Uh, mind? Mm. Uh, mind? Where is mind? And he asked me, no really, where is mind? And what is it? And at that moment, very embarrassing moment that I thought I knew everything about brain and mind, I realized I don't. And uh, at that time actually I decided to go study about mind. And then I studied for years. <laughs> And uh, later on, I figured out actually other doctors were looking for that. Why? Why is important? Because when we explain mind to people, mind, there is no picture of mind. And we think in picture. When we talk about brain, we have picture. When we talk about building a car or any object, we have picture. And that's how, that's how we think. Uh, we think in picture. And there is no picture for mind. And when there is no picture, what happens? Confusion. Um, and later on, I figured out, uh, when I was studying about mind, I found out that Dr. Thurman Fleet uh, in San Antonio, Texas, in 1934, he was chiropractor and he was working on holistic medicine, and he tried to explain to the patient why it's important to know about mind and how mind affects our body and how body obeys the mind. And he tried to explain it, and he found out actually people get more confused because they don't know what's mine. We're not talking about brain, it's different. And then he came out with a stick person. Unfortunately, there is no whiteboard or a PowerPoint here to show you, but uh, he came out with uh, two circles, a big circle on the top and a small circle illustrating the body. So the big circle on the top is mind, and he divided that to conscious and subconscious mind. In childhood, our subconscious mind is wide open. And we cannot reject because our cortex is not developed. And we cannot reject any idea. Whatever our parents, our siblings, teachers, school, media tell us, we accept it. And then, we, uh, uh, the first thing we uh, learn in childhood, what is it? <coughs> What's the word that we learn? Cookie. Mom. No. 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 <laughs> and what? what the, yeah, exactly. When we want to do anything, our parents say, no, no, no. And then, what, what's the next thing we learn? Conformity. To look for conformity. And that's why, that's the exact reason why we are not successful, why we are not following our passion, why we are not following what we like to do. Because our subconscious mind has been programmed from childhood, and that program is stay there. It's the default program. So um, to uh, make it clear how does it work, how mind and brain work, um, after studying for many years, I realized that brain is just like a hardware of your computer. So imagine if you uh, buy a computer from Thor or online from Amazon, um, and there is no any software on it. What happens? 
Can you use it for uh, email? Can you connect to internet? Right? No. Um, can you uh, use any uh, like uh, any other document, like writing uh, on Word or creating a PowerPoint? No. Why not? Because there is no software. That's how mind works. Mind is the energy. Mind is the software. Mind actually we thinking with mind, but we using the data from. Uh, it's stored from uh, in our brain, so we use those data from brain and initiate a thought. And why it's very important? Because we think logically, we act emotionally. We act upon our habits, our, our emotion. And our habits, our emotion, uh, have been programmed from childhood. We, as people, are very predictable. And that's why we cannot change our destiny except if we change that default program in our mind. So if you know, if you learn how to change the default program, if you know how to reprogram your mind, how to rewire your brain, you can get any goal. You can achieve any goal in your life. And I learned it, and I'm teaching it for several years. I have students from lower education to medical doctors. I have psychiatrists, psychologists as my coaching student. And when I teach mind, and they say, aha, uh -huh. now I understand how mind works. So since then, I'm teaching it, and uh, I enjoy it. And two years ago, I quit medicine, and now I'm <laughs> full time in coaching and speaking and helping people to understand the power of the mind and use it in any aspects of life. Um, I hope that was uh, useful to you. And if you have any questions, please go ahead. I'm ready. Okay.